hello lolas welcome back to my channel guys if you're new to this channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button click the bell to be a part of the notification squad don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below um a couple things that i want to let you guys know uh other places where you can follow my blogging you can follow my photos and also see me live uh, at least once a month is the so the my blog is MrRendysmithBabies.com um, and then my Instagram and I want everybody to follow me on Instagram because there will be photos that will be posted on Instagram that will not be posted like on Facebook and other places because um, it's easier for me to just pop on to Instagram and it keeps all my photos in one spot so I like that. Um, there is, uh, my Instagram, I'm sorry, is Miss Serenity, uh, underscore Smith Babies, or Miss Serenity Smith Babies, that's underscores in there somewhere, child, but, um, <laughs> once you start typing it in, I think it'll come up, and then I just added babies to it, so I don't exactly remember how the babies come into play in that. Um, as you guys might see now, my channel says Mr. Rene Smith Babies instead of just Mr. Rene Smith. I'm slowly um, trying to make everything more uniform with my channel, my vlogs, etc., etc. Um, also, I have the Chatterbox. The Chatterbox is a paid membership. It is a dollar and ninety nine cents a month to join. Um, you do have to be at least eighteen years old. Uh, all that is handled by uh, YouTube and so there's that and then also guys I also am just bringing awareness to this that there is a heart thank you button um, that you can like it's like I guess a tip or tip button or something like that whatever um, I mentioned all these different things and yes some of my stuff is monetized and of course I put out tons of free content so um, it's up to you which way you want to support so and then also I collect babies and I also paint babies the babies that's in front of you are all babies that I've painted they're all silicone in one form or another um, so Let's start from left to right. I am going to do a separate video before I start rooting Taya. Prototype Taya is, um, she's Taya by Erica Lee. And she's on a newborn cuddle body from Reggie Ann. I pretty much put all my cuddle babies on Reggie Ann bodies. And then there is, oh my gosh, I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Sorry. The little one in the back. I know he's a silicone studio baby with Jennifer Sussman Price. Um, and then he also has a cuddle body, but I, he's not on his body. And then I have Prototype India um, by Jennifer. I'm oh, sorry. Prototype Kit. <laughs> Her name is India. Prototype Kit by Jennifer Sussman Price. And she's also a silicone studio baby she is a cuddle head with hands so that means she has silicone head and she has silicone hands and the rest of her body is cloth like the one that you see beside her and then there is nori and nori is a full body silicone 14 inch baby by jennifer sussman price from silicone studio and her features are she has armatures in both arms and legs and squishy tummy then we have Phoebe. Phoebe is the Willow Awake by Claire Tella, painted by me, of course. And she is um, probably like 21 to 22 inches long. I think she's 22 inches long. She's full body silicone as well. And then we have Jaden. And Jaden is the Everett Sculpt by Don Donafreo, painted by me. Um, he is full body as well. And yeah, so quite a mix. I have two other silicone babies that's not over here. I think it's two left. 
um, there is Nobi and Gigi. And Gigi is just styling in the bassinet in the room, so she she's not on this table. A lot of times these babies end on the table when I do a video. So if I do a video or I do photographs and I use the crib, then I kind of like start putting them over here or vice versa. If I want to use the changing table, then I put the babies over on the, um, in the crib. And I also have bassinets like in my room and stuff like that. But right now it is so crazy because I haven't been like putting my babies in their permanent spots because my goal is always to have my changing table free for videos, photographs, stuff like that, and not just have babies just laying on it full time. So, but that, you know, like I said, I've, I'm working on so many babies at one time and it's a lot of moving parts. So, yeah. In fact, I just went out to the Lowe's uh, yesterday and uh, went to get me some wood and stuff to make me another stand so that I can paint multiple uh, heads at one time. So it's just, it, you know, I'm trying to get, get going. Um, Prototype Taya is going to be on my rooting, in my rooting chair tomorrow. And it will be a non-stop thing so that she can get fully completed. She will be available once she's completed. I will show her again. I'm not sure if I'm going to change her body or not. I love this body on her. I actually even love the color up against her skin. So that's why I'm like struggling. Do I want to even change her body? So I'm thinking about possibly leaving her on this body. It is a new body so it's okay. Um, but I was thinking if I wanted to put her on a chocolate body or not. So... I think I might leave her on that body, but if not, I will let you guys know when she's fully done and available and I do like a pictures and all that stuff to share, you know, for people for purchasing purposes. Um, the only baby that I have that is, um, I don't have any babies that's fully ready. Um, Gigi will eventually get sold as well. Um, she's going to be priced really really nice I think um too so that's gonna be nice I'm gonna first drop that information into the chat box and then I'll drop it in Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff um prices is something that people go back and forth with they're always saying well you know why don't people just put the price out there why don't what's the big secret da 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 da, da. I am one of those collectors that personally I I am kind of torn. I like when artists have integrity and they're not like customizing the price to the person. Um like for instance, if they know you're a big time collector, they up the price or if they, you know, I don't mind if they lower it for me. <laughs> just being honest. Um but I don't I don't like when I get a higher price just because they know I collect higher end babies. That kind of bothers me. Um, but so sometimes those type of artists, I like when they put the prices out publicly. But then sometimes I just don't want people to know how much I paid for my dolls, you know? Um, because there's a lot of judgment that comes behind that sometimes too, just as well. And so sometimes I like to put my dolls' prices out there, and then sometimes I don't. But um, I mean, I the only time my my prices change is like sometimes I give Chatterbox members a discount, or if I actually lower the price, then the price might have been different one moment and not different another time. Um, this is totally not what I came on here to talk about, and I don't know why I got into this, but. Anyway, um, so this is the reality of like a little behind the scene kind of, in my opinion, people don't usually show their babies like displayed like, like this. It's like, this is just, I just put them down, <laughs> like not a posing thing. Um, this baby... I love his face and everything and I think his painting came out good. I was trying to go for a more pale color 
and I got that. Um, he has a lot of detail in, like he has a lot of veining and he has like the stork bite and he has nice color lips and you know, ears, he's just so tiny. That's it. And then I didn't, I, I don't necessarily love this hair texture for him. So it didn't lay as much as I wanted it to lay. So it's okay. He was a baby that I wanted to practice and see how I do with the Caucasian skin tone. And I'm in person, he looks way better than how he's photographing on camera. Because he has more color than what he's showing, I think. So um, he's not a pale pale. He has a little bit of a... He has color to him. So, um, I think he's cute. He's going to be probably like a, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. If I'm going to keep him, or if I'm going to sell him, if I'm going to do a giveaway with him, or I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Um, just yet. I didn't know. She didn't know. Honestly, that's just how it go. And I'm actually doing this off while y'all not can't see of like brushing in his hair um yeah so I'm gonna have to see him when he's fully he's still got um he got some back hair rooted is he needs all that filled in so I never finished him I just put him to the side and this happens a lot with me I I start something and hey I don't know if that helps show his color but he's not a pale pale white but he's cute and I may just keep him for myself because I really think he's cute and I like the way his coloring came out and I think he's my official first white white baby like I've done babies that that's like go more for like Italian or something like that skin tone but He's the first baby that I try. I purposely made sure I did not turn him biracial. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And if I if I feel like it, I'll take that hair out and put him some more hair. Maybe I could make him a redhead. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, nevertheless, um, that is, you know, a little bit of what's going on with me. I'm just super super busy and trying to find my way into getting a lot of stuff done you i don't know if y'all can see inside can you see inside her mouth this camera i think it's zoomed in as far oh no it's not oh ain't that something <laughs> i didn't know it wasn't zoomed in you see inside her mouth uh, let's see I don't know. You might can't. But, oh, well, maybe I could put him back up here. Let's see. I thought the camera was zoomed in as far as it can go in. But, yeah, this kind of gives you a little bit more. Let me put some light over here on him. See? He actually has some color. But, yeah. It's funny because when you, as you know, as you zoom in, it, sh it makes them look darker. And she's actually pretty much, I didn't realize how close she was to Phoebe color, but she's pretty much Phoebe's colors. But I, I purposely was trying for that, but different techniques. So like her stomach and all that and stuff is, she's basically the same colors as Phoebe. But Phoebe legs are darker. Phoebe has dark legs. Her legs are darker. And that ha that is something that's can be very realistic for black babies. That the face be a little bit lighter. Look at that. So like see her her it's not much darker, but just a little bit. But Part of that is because I kept repainting on, on Phoebe. So, 
But anyway, all right, let me go because this was not the intentions of this video. So I'll have to try again. <laughs>